Hello everyone, it is Matt Video Productions and welcome back to another video. Hopefully this video is extremely useful to you guys. This is basically the entire accumulation of all knowledge of text to image generation AIs that I have accumulated so far ever since Dolly 2 has released. Forgive me if I sound a little nasally, I'm getting over a cold. I've already released a few videos on text-to-image AI so far, and I am picking up where we left off last time with some of the images that we generated last time with Dolly Flow, which is still a really good model. Dolly Flow is not created by OpenAI. It's named after OpenAI's Dolly, though. So here is a quote-unquote 3D render of a puppy. And as you can see, it can even do near photorealism with Dolly Flow. And almost pretty much perfect photorealism of a chocolate chip cookie here. So this was very impressive last time. But I've actually compiled a list from uh, worst to best for text-to-image AIs. This is just getting real hard to beat. But here is the most updated list that I have created here. Starting at the bottom, we have Night Cafe, and we go all the way up to Dolly 2, of course, and Google Imogen. This video was originally going to be about this new number two spot, Mid Journey. I recently received access to Mid Journey, and you'll see some Mid Journey today, but I asked uh, some moderators of Mid Journey whether or not I could create a full video review on it, and they said no. Mid Journey basically is invite only closed beta right now. You can apply, um, which I'll have a link down in the description, but if you want Mid Journey access, your best bet is to get an invite from someone who already has a invite to the discord and the way I did this was by going on to Twitter and asking someone with access for an invite and I actually do have some invites to mid journey which I will be giving access to a few of you watching this video right now but we'll get into that later when I actually talk about mid journey for now we're just gonna start at the bottom here with night cafe in links in the description obviously by the way so night cafe is free access and paid access I've already covered it but night cafe is basically the best version of the VQGAN uh, image generation that I could find. It's got a really good interface and you can get some really cool stuff out of this. There's a little bit less coherency with the VQGAN model. Again, this is my worst on the list and I still think it's very interesting and good. Um, you get a lot of artistic results with Night Cafe and VQGAN. This one's pretty coherent, I would say, um, in terms of Night Cafe or VQGAN. But if you want to generate really high resolution images and use their really good interface you can definitely pay for night cafe again link down below and you can generate some really cool stuff for sure moving next up on the list um what i think is a little bit more coherent then uh, Night Cafe's VQGAN is RU Dolly, which is again not actually created by OpenAI, who created the original Dolly. This is basically Russian Dolly. This one is a pretty good alternative to Dolly Mini if Dolly Mini servers are too used up for you to use it. Because I know Dolly Mini is getting very popular lately. But we've got a few different uh, choices. We can obviously type our text prompt in, aspect ratio, three different models surrealism, realism, and emoji. I'm going to go with realism for this this prompt and we will see how it does and this is a prompt I've used in the past and we can use to compare to different models such as a few of the top models all right so this is nowhere near what the prompt was I guess you could sort of see the beach where it was coming from again here is this prompt from dolly flow huge difference here going with a simpler uh, text description gives us much better results with Russian dolly and I think uh, they're more coherent in general than uh, night cafe if coherency is what you're going for uh, so this one was just simply diamond, and we did in fact get a diamond-esque sort of shape here. Moving up to Lionide V3. This one can create some really cool results as you can see here. This one has a bunch of different options. You can see uh, there's some pretty cool examples here. These are video game covers that have been uh, generated with this one. Uh, it also does basic art pretty well. This is another one that would be a pretty good alternative to Dolly Mini if you can't get Dolly Mini working. And you can even change the batch size here which is pretty interesting. So we're gonna submit our our typical 3d render of a lemon on a beach prompt that I like to use to test these image generation AIs and we will see what lionide v3 gives us again I think it's gonna be a lot better than Russian dolly and as you can see we definitely got better images than Russian dolly this is not an easy prompt we can see the lemon here we can definitely see the beach 
We get a lot of uh, disturbing faces though. And this one also upscales and again has a lot of options. So you definitely could produce some really nice images with this one. Again, this one's definitely a good alternative to Dolly Mini, which has been having some serious server issues lately due to its popularity. And these were the images and with pretty much the same prompt, we got this from Dolly Flow. So Dolly Flow is definitely better, but I've also been having issues with Dolly Flow as well. So moving up to the all holy Dolly Mini that's so popular popular nowadays and here is dolly mini and dolly mini super popular i think because of its speed we'll see if we can actually yeah too much traffic error so i can't even generate anything right now However, if you really want to run Dolly Mini, you can actually use the link that I've linked down below to this Google Collab. You basically run each one of these step by step. You will be able to run Dolly Mini here in this little Google Collab notebook. It's a little bit more difficult than running it through the base website, but it can be done. I personally would rather use um, this model rather than Dolly Mini and trying to get it to run through Google Collab. This is sort of what it's capable of. It's a pretty decent model. It's a really fast one and you get nine images so this is walter white painted by van gogh for example pretty nice we've got hulk in the club chewbacca robs and mcdonald's uh there's a lot of cool stuff that uh can be generated with dolly mini the servers are so flooded now though so you're gonna have to use an alternative but just to give you a taste of uh what dolly mini is capable of and moving up to number four on the list latent diffusion which i think is a better model than dolly mini this one does text better than any model that i have come across so far including mid journey and dolly too with the exception of maybe google's imogen which we just don't have enough information on yet but this one does text really well and we've got a few sliders to mess around with here and use my typical uh, prompt here of the lemon relaxing on the beach wearing sunglasses and see how it does as you can see i think these models are starting to get closer to what i am looking for with this uh, very difficult prompt we've got the lemon and the sunglasses and the beach and everything is just now about the shape in the form of the image itself it's really getting there though and again here's the original reference image to compare it to not too bad for latin diffusion though i think it is still better than mini dolly or dolly mini which again i gotta point this out dolly mini is not created by open ai and is not meant to be the actual dolly mini or the mini to dolly 2 that's just what that creator named his project. To show you how good this thing is at text, we'll just type lemon text. I mean, check this out. The lemon text. This is literally perfect. I mean, we also got some really nice lemons in here, though. But yeah, uh, Latin Diffusion is a very, very good uh, one that I would definitely give a shot. And I think it's better than Dolly Mini, and it's a really good alternative to Dolly Mini right now, because Dolly Mini is so popular. So here is Dolly Flow, which again is my third best model here, right above Latin Diffusion. This is the model that actually created this image, or this image, or maybe this image. This is a very good model. It generates high resolution images, and the only way to run it is either through Google Collab or Jupyter Notebook, and I can't figure out how to make it run in Jupyter Notebook, but I figured out Google Collab. It's pretty easy. You basically just follow and run each of these commands in order, and we will see if we can't get this one to work for us. Well, it seems as though a Dolly flow is just way too uh, overloaded today to be able to handle uh, any requests, which is unfortunate. This isn't the first time this has happened. But again, all of these images, even though some of them are a little scary, are created from Dolly flow. Some really good images generated from this one for sure. And here's that Pixar lemon again. So moving from Dolly flow, we're going to move up to mid journey, which again, I originally wanted to make this whole video about mid journey and showing off using mid journey but they did not want me making a whole video because it's still in closed beta eventually there's going to be a public beta to mid journey mid journey is interesting because if you do get an invite and again i do have some invites that i can give i have five of them and i'm going to gift them to random viewers uh, if you do have an invite you can get a limited amount of free access when you first join the discord to generate a few images upscale a few images but after you run out you have to pay for it they have a ten dollar a month plan and a $30 a month plan, which is pretty expensive. The $10 one gives you somewhere in the range of 200 images uh, to generate per month. And then after that, you can pay incrementally. But after about 100 more image generations or so, you might as well just pay 
for the $30 a month plan, which gives you full access, unlimited access, unlimited images, and a few other little benefits. So, uh, for the uh, invites to Mid Journey, I have five invites. Tell me what the prompt that you want to generate down in the comments below is, and I'll pick my five favorite ones, and I will send you guys Discord invites. Again, you need Discord. It's only available through Discord. So, here is that lemon created with Dolly Flow, and here is essentially the same exact prompt created with Mid Journey. As you guys can see, Mid Journey is quite good. Mid Journey is similar to Dolly Flow in the terms where it generates uh, four images. You pick from one of them, you can either generate more variations or upscale it. So there's a little bit of human guidance in there to get a better image. Mid Journey is very fast in my experience. While I can't show you guys me using it, I've noticed it's extremely fast and it's very high quality. You get really good images. This doesn't necessarily look exactly like a lemon, but there is just so much detail here and the sunglasses are dead center. The beach is really good in this one as well and it's a very aesthetically pleasing image. Now here is what that lemon was generated from. As you can see it gives you four options and you can pick one to either uh, do variations or upscale like I said. I picked this one to do variations of. I then ended up with this and I picked this one to upscale. That's where we ended up with this specific image here. Here is a chocolate chip cookie generated by Dolly Flow. I consider this one pretty close to perfect. There's a little rough spots, but it's nearly photorealistic. Now here is Mid Journey's attempt at the same prompt. It definitely looks like a cookie. Uh, you definitely have a blue background, but the chocolate chips are now blue, which is a little interesting. So I think Dolly Flow definitely has a better generation uh, than this one for sure. But there's a lot of detail for sure in uh, the Mid Journey one. Here's an interesting one I did of a Pixar Lime generated by Mid Journey. He's a little bit creepy, but again, tons of detail and he's just relaxing on a couch. Here is a text test and it did all right, not that great. So it did all right. So here we can do some direct comparisons to Dolly 2. So this is Dolly 2, a portrait of an avocado made of yarn. And here is the same one, but using Mid Journey. I also added photograph and detail just to make sure Mid Journey knew what I was talking about. But as you can see, Dolly 2 is definitely still quite a bit better than Mid Journey, but Mid Journey is not so bad. Definitely made of yarn, definitely an avocado. It doesn't get that it's supposed to be a portrait or a face. If I said it had a face, maybe we'd get a better result. By the way, we also have a direct comparison with the chocolate chip cookie. This is Dolly 2's chocolate chip cookie versus Dolly Flo's chocolate chip cookie. And then the chocolate chip cookie, of course, that's made by Mid Journey. We've also got a GPU chip in the form of an avocado. I also plugged this one into Mid Journey, and this is what I got. Definitely got an avocado. Definitely got sort of the chip GPU stuff down here. Not too bad. I'll get a lot of detail. Mid Journey is definitely second best here on the list behind Dolly 2 and I guess Google's Imogen. Here is Dolly 2, an orange, just a simple basic orange. And here is Mid Journey's attempt, which is really good. Arguably, a ton of detail here in Mid Journey's result. The orange is a little convoluted up here, not as perfect as Dolly 2's, but that's definitely an orange, and uh, uh, Mid Journey definitely did a really good job here. Uh, with the orange. So Dolly 2 and Mid Journey. And right here was uh, Dolly Flows for the same exact prompt here. So Dolly Flow, Mid Journey, OpenAI's Dolly 2. This is a 3D render of a pink and orange cactus made of fluff on a navy blue background. This is Mid Journey. Then we've got Dolly 2's result, which is just absolutely mind blowing. And then we've also got some Dolly Mini here of this same result. So Dolly Mini, you can see how primitive it is in comparison to Mid Journey here, which does an absolute job. I mean, look at the symmetry on this too. Very, very cool stuff. We've also got, again, Dolly 2 is just unbeatable here. I did a few others. Here's a photo of ancient Romans enjoying ramen noodles in their beautiful Roman city. I mean, you can see they're eating ramen noodles. This is a cute Pixar robot, a uh, Disney Pixar movie still. Uh, this one came out pretty decent. This is a photograph of a chicken riding a skateboard in the middle of Times Square, and it came out, I mean, I guess all right. You can definitely see the chicken in the Times Square, but 
I still think that Dolly Flo actually did a better job with this. However, this one's pretty close. This is a photo of a diesel engine, 3D render of an ice cream cone. I seem to think it was supposed to be cone themed, which is interesting. This is a Shizu dog gaming wearing headphones. This one's pretty horrifying. And I honestly think that the three results I got from Dolly Flo are better than Mid Journeys. Although Mid Journeys is very detailed. And here's a 35 millimeter photograph of a golden retriever puppy. Again, this is Mid Journey. So Mid Journey is pretty darn good. If you want to check out more Dolly 2 stuff, I recommend uh, checking out their Instagram where they upload daily different Dolly 2 stuff. Again, no one has access to Dolly 2 yet except for the uh, people who uh, are lucky enough to get accepted into the beta. Very closed beta. And finally, if you guys haven't seen this yet, this is basically Google's answer to Dolly 2. This is Google Imogen. I mean, you get some really good results from Google Imogen. It's really good. It seems to be really good at doing text as as well. Uh, definitely sort of goes head to head with Dolly 2 and definitely better than Mid Journey, but um, this one they have no intent on actually releasing to the public at any point in the future so far. This is sort of where we're at with Google Imogen. No one's going to have access anytime soon. Eventually, people will have access to Dolly 2, which is going to be pretty incredible. And if you can get an invite, and again, I'm going to be giving a lucky few of you invites to Mid Journey where you can try it out for free, you can generate maybe 10 images or so, and if you'd like, you can pay uh, either 10 or $30 for different forms of access to MidJourney. And again, it's only available through Discord, so you need a Discord account uh, to be able to access MidJourney. Anyways, guys, links down in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, this video has provided some insight and some help for you guys, and I will see you guys in another video. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.